uh, education and ordination of Catholic priests. Uh, in that uh, seminary, along with seven other seminaries that were in the country, in St. John's and Waterford, uh, there was a um, hundred uh, students studying for the priesthood. I had the privilege of attending a mass recently in my local community uh, for the priest who was celebrating the 50th anniversary of his ordination uh, in 1966. June 1966 at half past 11 in the morning and Mass was celebrated by the priest Father Michael Gilsonen or Peter Gilsonen uh, uh, last Sunday on the 50th anniversary of his ordination. Uh, there were many priests uh, in the 1950s and up to the 1960s uh, educated and, con and ordained as, as priests, many of them in parishes throughout Ireland, so that each parish often had a parish priest and at least two cures and more if it was a bigger town. And then many priests uh, were uh, assigned to the missions and Britain was regarded as a mission because of the shortage of priests in that country. And also the priests went to the USA, Australia and Africa and uh, spread uh, the Catholic and Christian religion uh, because so many were ordained. Sadly, today the number of ordinations has dwindled drastically. So more people, more young people, hopefully will be called to sort of practice uh, and be ordained as Catholic priests so as we're not left in limbo at the mercy of people that want to abolish and talk about baptism barriers. You what, see, what what, what, sorry John, what, why do you think the numbers have dropped in the priesthood? I believe <coughs> the onslaught and the attack by the media, uh, the television, the national broadcaster, uh, and the media generally, uh, they seem unable to report anything positive about the Catholic religion. Uh, they only report negative, uh, negative aspects and often going back to history. They fail to mention uh, the fact that one of the political parties and two leaders of the Labour Party, uh, and uh, when they were uh, earlier in the, in the late 60s, 70s, uh, they approached Moscow and the Communist Party for funds so as they could mount successful campaigns against uh, the other democratically elected political parties. So uh, this is um, Mr. Gilmore and Mr. Eamon Gilmore and Mr. Um, Pat Rabbit were former members of Democratic Left which was uh, the party involved. So uh, we, can, we can see that there's been a constant attack uh, by the Labour Party and by the media on the ethos and on the Catholic Church. Do you think the Church, the Catholic Church, has a place in modern society? It never was more important. It's, it's suffering attacks on all fronts and the practice of the Catholic faith is being eroded and interfered with by the type of claims on this equality, uh, making it nearly difficult for Catholics in conscience to, to practice their Catholic faith with the laws that have been imposed upon them. An Archbishop in the USA has referred to the Obama administration, their health their health uh, agenda as being what he calls in commas, the silent persecution, making it impossible for committed Catholics and Christians to practice their Catholic faith in the laws that are imposing on them as regards abortion and um, gender and all the gender uh, uh, business that has occurred by way of the same sex and the transgender and the bisexual. Uh, that has occurred and where they have been granted 
uh, status equivalent to a marriage between a man and a woman. This has, has uh, and, and then abortion. Abortion has been in, uh, introduced in these, or has been going on in these countries, these so-called civilised countries, uh, resulting, resulting in the murder, what they call the murder of the innocents, crying out to heaven for vengeance. So um, these, these are, the, are the people that were supposed to emulate uh, and copy. The Minister for Children, Mrs. Cat, uh, Messrs. Uh, Catherine Zappone, uh, now quotes the United Nations also to back her, up our claims that we have to introduce ab abortion or uh, freedom for women uh, to choose abortion if they so desire. M women are placed under a tremendous strain and by the, by, by, by the by the dictates of people uh, that what, what are promoting abortion. Uh, they are potential mothers and they have a right to make up their own mind without being coerced by this influential and very small percentage lobby that are calling the shots. It's time for Catholics and other Christians to mount a vigorous opposition to them and be heard in the marketplace. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.